topics were left in our programming that we have discussed. Okay, so I'm going to start now. All of you can clearly listen. It's really important. I want everyone to join in, but obviously, so what's a text file? Obviously, um, text files are, are very important. If you talk about text files, you will find lots of text files within your operating system. Um, text, the reason why we use text files are because they're very handy. They're very light. Um, you can save your information very easily and you can retrieve the information from there very easily. This is why text files are uh, very, very, very important. Now in, in Python, you can write, you can create your own text files. You can write data to text files. You can retrieve data from text file. Uh, you can delete data uh, uh, from a text file or you can delete the text file as well. So this is what we will work with today. How do we deal with text files? In artificial intelligence, the, the role of uh, text file is also very important. Um, in the little lectures, we will also do the same thing with a CSV file. And obviously it's not in the syllabus, but I'll also tell you how to work with the PDF files as well. Uh, how can you create PDF files using Python as well? Anyway, uh, so let's not drag it more. Uh, I hope all of you can listen to me easily because this lecture is important. All of you? Yes, sir. Right, excellent. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you can see my screen, well, if let's say if I say, uh, if I create a variable I open and I can name it as, let's say, searchsime.txt, right? Then I can do is I can create a file by W. Uh, before we do this, let me just tell you something that uh, you have a built in, you can say open. If you do this, you will get by default uh, a random text about what text files are, are about. Um, the correct meaning like R is open for reading, W open for writing, X create a new file and open it for writing, A uh, open for writing, appending. So uh, this is all your documentation, a user documentation about your text files. So uh, here you go, you have a, a lot of information over here. If you want to go and study it further. So as I was saying that if you, let's say make a variable and you see you say over here is uh, let me open and let me create a file, let's say sirsign.com, right? And I would use X or I could use W to actually uh, create a new file if it does not exist. So W can be used to create a file uh, if it does not exist. Now I'll just show you something that if you come over here uh, if you come to your C drive, if you come to user, um, Dell, I don't know where it is in your location, but uh, PyCharm project, and I, I can tell you where it is in your computer, uh, Python project 11. Now this is where my Python project files are. Well, obviously you do know that, oh sorry, no, not the debugger, I'm gonna talk about this. I just want to tell you the path holder. So over here you can see is that where is my default. Okay, Python interpreter, and this is where my files are being saved. C, Dell, PyCharm, and all that. So you need to find out your script path, where your script path is. You need to follow that. And you have to see is what you have. You can see is randomly, as I was teaching before, uh, there are some files that have been created before, okay? I don't have a file by the name of uh, SirSime over here, okay? It's it's uh, right under process. So what I'll do is if I run this, what I get is uh, it does execute it. And if I come over here, uh, you will see is, hold on, hold on. But why is MS-DOS file created? Here you 
use X and let me just run this again. Or W, sorry. Run this again. Okay, let's see now. So, so sign has been created, but why is it hold on just one second? Obviously, I was creating a .com file. So .com will be created. If I said PDF, a PDF will be created. So over here right now, so Syme, a TXT file has been created. But as you can see, there's nothing in this TXT file. So I did create a TXT file. Uh, I can create uh, as many files as I want to. I can create so um 3txt So obviously, if I run this, you will see in that particular folder, I get so sim three at the very bottom you can see and the notepad file has been created. So this is how you can actually um, create your own uh, TXT file. I repeat again, they will directly go inside your folder where you're working. Okay, now you can even ex write uh, content to your existing. Uh, for that, what you need to do is uh, you can write A, which basically means append. Further, I could say over here is uh, the same variable f dot write and I could say over here is okay uh, this should be added to the file right so here we go once we do this I would just say f dot close because once you have written data to your file you need to close it which means it will obviously save it as well. F dot close, we will save the file and it will close it. So if I run this, yeah, finished without any error. If there's an error, obviously you have to look into it. I'll go to my file again. This was my sirsign3.txt. So if I open this, you will see is, this should have been added in Notepad file. Whatever I uh, did try to add a pen file into, it was appended into it. Um, okay, I'm, uh, I think so. Um, I should give you time to note down all this because this all is important. Uh, as I am proceeding further, please note down all this. So the first thing that I did was, um, I can go back. So this was the way how I created a file. Are you noting it down all of you? And let me know when once you're done. Uh, so uh, first of all, we are going to create a new file. That's how we create a new file. If it does not exist, sir, the recipe file exists. Can we do an error show? Yeah. Can you okay. 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 in what case? Like, like you created Sir Sime, and if you create Sir Sime again, so error show will get you. If I if I do it again, yeah, exactly the same spellings and everything. Okay. Uh, if I try to create one, hold on. If I use X, if I run this, it gives me an error. Okay, because what X does is that uh, if I use X, uh, it will tell me that there is a file that already does exist. Okay, so it will not uh, overwrite it. But if I use W, then in that, in that case, obviously it will overwrite it. You get the point. So your question was right. But replace Yes. So if you write. What does. What does W has to do with it? I don't understand. Why do you write W? Uh, w is basically used uh, when you have to create a new file if, if it does not exist. Okay. It's a rule that we have to write W. Yeah, yeah W, exactly. Like, like I told you, uh, uh, they are like read, write, append. Okay. There are different modes that you have a file for. Okay. Do you want to append a file? Do you want to delete a file? Do you want to write a file? We will work on that, all of them. 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर क्रिएटिंग न्यू फाइल ये ये पहला हमारा केस है देन वी हैव इज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपेंड बेसिकली फाइल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपेंड अ फाइल एन एग्जिस्टिंग फाइल यू ओके इन दैट केस आई टोल यू दैट वील यूज ए विच मीन्स ए स्टैंड फॉर अपेंड एंड आई वुड लाइक टू अपेंड ओज एफ डॉट राइट and i would like over here is um uh, okay just see what happens and uh once you've done that you need to close it which means closing um technically means that you have to uh save it as well so i'll just run this i have no error now if i go back sign 3 you will see is now did you realize in the same file i did write something before do you remember because you were asking me the question so since i did use um, w they did overwrite it and then create a new one and then over there i have written just see what happens remember i wrote initially i wrote some text in the same file right so this is how we can append a file you can write it down sir mujhe ye nahi samajh aa rahi hai agar hum nayi file banate hain matlab a ki jagah x likhte hain to wo a ko replace karti hai ya ek nayi file banegi beta a a ka a the 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 comma a jo hai na it doesn't stands for uh, a stands for append it means what do you want to do you open this file a means in append mode r means in write mode okay it depends on what you want to do w write okay right i'll share a list of uh, this with you magar obviously hum sari list ko sare ko discuss abhi hum nahi kar rahe okay we are just today this we discussing is how to um, create a file we will discuss how to append a file and today we'll discuss is how to uh, remove a file or how to delete the file from your root folder this is our three discussion okay we will discuss this later on in more detail afterwards theek hai so have you noted down this down can i continue yes sir okay then yes, we sir. have is let's learn how to delete a file okay so the way we can delete a file basically will be that i have to over here is import the os now i'll just explain that what do i mean by typing import os i will use over here is a command that says os dot remove ke naam se hona chahiye and yes there is and uh, the name of the file that i was was uh, oh see it tells me what is there in my right there you go and as you can see over here i have this sir sign3.txt file as soon as i run this let's run this fine let me go back and see you will see sir sign3 has gone it's disappeared it's deleted now the important discussion over here is that um what is meant by import and what is os well uh this is not the only import we uh will be discussing there will be few more import module modules that we will be discussing well th this this particular approach is known as uh, uh modularization of your entire program once you convert your entire programs into few modules it helps you to break it down into smaller smaller modules so when i import the module os this is a predefined module uh, uh which is part of my operating system and as you have theoretically studied this before there are very important features that we have for our operating system that tend to be about file management and when we did discuss about file management we learned that file management is all about organizing the files we can create folders we can create files with operating system we can delete files we can rename files we can add content to the file is it not 
when you are able to create, for example, if I go to my desktop, okay, if I, if I come over here, and if I say over here is new, and if I write, say obviously create a new text document, yes, I've been able to create it. Now this particular feature that I have, am I not creating it? This particular feature that I have, is it not part of my operating system? Renaming. So in the same way, your, your Python can use some um, salient features of your operating system. Uh, did you get my point why import? Now, OS stands for operating system, by the way. So OS.remove means that within your operating system, I would like to remove the sign 3txt Remember one thing, that if, you, the, the, if, if within this folder, you have make some of the, you have some of the folder and, and you're saving your files over there, then obviously you have to give the path. You have to write over here is let's say new slash this. So you need to tell if sign 3txt this file is present in your root folder where you're working. By root folder, I mean is the main folder where all your uh, project files are, then it's perfectly fine. If there's a subfolder, you need to define that in that particular case. Okay, is this point clear that why import OS has been used all of you? And you can note this down as well. Any question this part? No, sir. So observe so where does that W and A went? Uh, w and? Uh, w thing A was for append. Appending means editing, making changes to it, adding something to it. Right? This is what append means. Yes, sir. Right. Sir, so you have to use it, but you don't understand. W? Ka? No, sir, you have to use it, you have to use it. OS.remove, you have to use it, you have to use it. Uh, मैंने न्यू लिखा था इधर मैंने न्यू लिखा था इधर बेटा तो आपने लिखा था वो बताने के लिए कि अगर सब फाइल हो तो I'm so sorry I'm so sorry मैंने लिखा था उसका मतलब ये था कि if there is a folder by the name of new and in that particular folder I want to create my text files I need to give a path of that new slash this which means this is my I'll name it new or iske andar meri sari file save hogi. You get the point? Yes, sir. Get the point? Iske andar sari file save hogi. It was just to tell you ke uh, sir, sign to txt kyu directly idhar aare. I just want to emphasize that koi magic trick nahi hai. The only reason is right now my Python project 11 or you can see over here this is in my Python projects. I have all these project files. Okay, so many multiple create queue here. So 11 is one of them. So obviously whatever I do is working folder may everything will be created. And this is why this is happening. I'm just trying to explain you and everything that we're discussing here. So uh, these three things we are discussing today as far as files are concerned. We will learn how to uh, create a file, append a file and a delete a file. Okay. Iske baad, there are other uh, that I want to discuss with you. Uh, today are more um, uh, modular uh, approach towards this. For example, uh, let's discuss some of the uh, other that you have built in, like I can use over here is the import date time. On import date, date time, for example, if you have x is equals to, you can write over here is date time uh, just like the way this was also there in javascripting if you can recall it dot now quite the same was there dot now and then obviously i could print the x statement so so what happens obviously is that it gives me uh, the, the current date and time or whatever now again um, date and time has to be imported uh, a module that is built in, okay? So you, you can use import date and time. So, so there will be lots of lots of modules. Uh, there are hundreds of modules available within Python that can do various, various things. We are not going to do all of them, but whatever is important, we will, we will discuss them. Please, whatever I'm discussing with you, step by step, you know, I'll just keep on discussing it. Right? Sir, why have, why have you written date time dot date time in with the x 
Okay, the reason why I've written date time um, twice is because uh, import date time is basically uh, a built-in module. Okay, so from the date time, this date time is used to get uh, the date and the time. Okay, so the first one helps you to get is the date, and the second date time helps you to get is the time. Uh, it doesn't exactly work the way it works in Java, that once is enough. So date time, one is used for the date, and dot date time, one, the other one is used for the time. To get, and dot, okay. now, dot date now. Sir, how does it know that the time is or the date is the first date or the date is the first date? If it knows, it will save it. If it has the computer settings, it will pick it in the DMY format. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have to do the same thing as well. Okay, thank you. Have you noted down? Can I proceed further? I have to discuss it with you randomly with you. राइट right. इसी तरह प्लीज कीप ऑन डूइंग इट द सेम वे वी कैन आल्सो यूज ओवर हियर इज इंपोर्ट मैथ इफ समवन हैज नॉट नोट डाउन प्लीज मुझे बता देना आई आई विल पॉज फॉर अ वाइल और साथ साथ इंपोर्ट मैथ एंड लेट्स से आई कैन यूज ओवर हियर इज एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू मैथ डॉट Uh, yeah, you see there are lots of there. The first one, yeah. Let me let me discuss the first one. I uh, is the square root. Uh, so let's say um, 64. Okay, and the square root of uh, 64 is eight. Exactly. Right click and run. Fine. So again, um, you. you You have all the built-in modules there that you can import and you can use them. So import math and math or square root. Hai, as you saw, there there are lots of others available. But I will be discussing the most commonly used one. All right. Um, there there are also for uh, decimals. Okay. Which are. I am not done. Till till I will type. Till then, I will. In order to save time, like we can have the import math. Hey, um, let's say I have x is equals to then let's say i can print this so Right, so uppercase, lowercase, math dot ceiling convert into uppercase math dot floor. This is why I use the same value in order to explain you this. Please note them down because these these small small things um, will help you in the activities that we are uh, we are doing today. So the further activities that we are doing, and please, I would like all of you to uh, make sure that these these activities are completed before our next class on Wednesday. Okay, I share the activities with you after my discussion of today. Um, Sir, ये पहले four आया और फिर three क्यों आया? Um, alpha beta बताओगे क्यों? अच्छा वो upper lower bound की वजह से. Upper lower ceiling का beta मतलब होता है upper ceiling exactly. Upper. Right? So uh, upper. तब मुझे एक बात पूछनी है. बोलो. 
सर ये आप प्रिंट अपने दो दो भाग में लिखे आप वैसे भी तो कर सकते हैं एक्स कॉमा वाई हाँ मैं कर सकता था मैंने वैसे भी I didn't want to be confused it मैंने separately discuss से ले किया है कि confusion ना हो जो हो रही है अभी ना math x में मैंने store किया three point five को okay in the ceiling मतलब ceiling means upper case math dot floor का मतलब into floor down ceiling means up so if I if I print both of them uh, ceiling is upper uh, converted into upper case and floor means converted into lower case uh, sorry not lower case uh, lower value Yes, but is it clear? Am na apu shethi mutse? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, right. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, all of you there? Acha, is is Nisa there? I didn't see her today. Who is there? Obviously, we. Uh, sir, she came late from school, so maybe. Oh ho! Oh. I'm recording lecture as well. Um, Alishba, uh, Uswa, Fatma. Uh, I'm gonna please make sure you have any question. You can keep on asking me. Okay. Um, then we we have other other fun, fun functions as well. For example, um, <clears throat> let's discuss. Uh, hmm. ABS code, for example. Uh, there's this. Uh, for example, if I use X dot ABS. Uh, minus six point three four. Uh, it's very, it's a very basic one, but still you should know it. Because probability is mentioned. I have discussed it here. Now, what this does is it will convert it into a positive value. That's the only reason we use ABS. And yeah, you might be thinking, "Sir, is it necessary to convert it?" Yes, it is necessary. So, whenever you have any negative value and you want to convert it into positive value, you can use ABS. Please note it down. Nothing much about it. That's the only reason we use it. So it will return um, the, the 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 positive value. That but that's what you can write down. Any question, Kiri? I obviously, if you don't ask, I'll presume there is no problem. Or me, I'll go further. Okay. Uswa, are you with us? Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. Because when Uswa doesn't ask ask question, means I don't know. So I could use over here is let's say four comma three, and let's say I would print this, and I could print x. So what happens is so four raised to power three. This is what you get in case of power. Okay. Which means four into four into four, which actually means. So this means if I use two, I would get is four. I hope you get the point. Power. P O W means power. Okay. And these, I think, I think these all we have not discussed. So uh, they're all important. Although they're very basic, but they're very important for our. Uh, paper two. And it's very much better if you make your notes so that you have an idea what they do. Okay. Then we have is if you have noted this down. Uh, let's say I have x is equals to min, and let me define over here just some random values like two comma six comma nine, and then I have y is equals to Uh, max and I can write over here is again one comma eight comma five and then what I can do is <clears throat> I can write print x and then obviously I could use is print y <clears throat> if I run this oh uh, what happens is I get minimum value and the maximum value as you can see so within a list if you have a list of uh, any Variables, numbers, and you want to find the minimum or the maximum. You can use this. Is it clear? Yes, 
sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, now what else, what else, what else should I discuss for just give me a second? Uh, math, mein, uh, there are lots of maths, but obviously we will not discuss it now, we will do it P4. Now I will start with P4, ka start kara dunga, kara na, this will become confusing for you. So I don't want to discuss it right now. Um, any B, hai, character B, hai. well, I might have used the CHAR. So, well, um, you should know that we can print our um, characters as well. For example, you will know that for example, 64 ka, what character do I have at 64? It's at the rate of sign. So I do get at the rate of. So just exactly the way ASCII codes work. Uh, if you want to print the character uh, upon the, um, the number, you can do it through the CHR. Is this point clear why they do it, Amna? Confusion in this part, ne? Sir, I don't understand. I have to read that. Acha. ASCII code, do you remember? You discussed ASCII code and Unicode. We discussed it. All of ASCII code, may all two fifty-six characters that you have are represented through numbers. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Sixty-five pay start. होता है आपका A. Let's see. So if I, if I type over here is sixty-five, uh, I have over here is A capital A so on and so so. Okay. So yeah, I have uppercase alphabets and I have lowercase alphabets. All these are represented through numbers. You get the point. So what I'm saying is, okay. if I want to represent the character uh, through a number, this is how I can do it. It's just a built-in thing that I'm discussing. Length ko hum discuss kar chuke hain. Usko hum baad mein discuss kar lenge. Uh, reverse ki baat kar lete hain. We can talk about reverse thing. For example, if I have X, if I have any, come on, I can't turn off my WhatsApp, but for example, I can write over here is, okay. Uh, whatever. And let's say I want to print uh, this particular thing in, in the form of a list. And I want this to be reversed. Reversed ka method bhi hai. Or so kar dete hai reverse ko, x ko. Right. Um, just give me a second. Let me just turn off my. It's irritating a lot. So what happens is if I preview this, uh, what happens is I get this in reverse order as you can see. Okay. You get the point. So what if we don't use list? So uh, 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 reverse. Uh, different hota hai. Um, what has actually happened over here is that this is a list actually list is a type of an array but it's different from an array theek hai to bilkul usne usko list mein kar diya kyunki maine list use kiya hai hum isko dusra bhi kar sakte hain for that it's a very different method um uh, what we do is i can use over here is i think so this will work um minus one uh please don't ask me how is it working i'm just i have a question because i'm going to okay and we can write as print um x and it should reverse it minus karta raiga har ek one by one Yes, it did. You get my point. I have list me I have reverse it. You get the point. Please note. Yes, I have But it's not that we print reverse and then write X. So, this is the work. Please note down. I will try it. Please note down.
ओके निसा बेटा आर आर यू हियर यस आई एम सो सॉरी सर आई लॉस्ट ट्रैक ऑफ टाइम ओ डिड यू गो टू स्कूल आर यू कमिंग फ्रॉम स्कूल आई केम फ्रॉम स्कूल एट अराउंड 215 ओके सो इट्स नॉट योर फॉल्ट इट्स माय फॉल्ट इट्स ओके आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग द लेक्चर आई विल शेयर विद यू एज़ वेल ओके Sorry, I could not come. I could not manage to come. One wasn't feeling that well, so I thought taking the class from home, just for today. अच्छा बेटा मैं मैं इसको stop करो. Please let let's join again all of us. फिर फिर वो issue आएगा. ठीक है? Please join again.